knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. in half. Look. Hit him from the other side. Guess that's that then. Get that stupid son of a bitch. He's here.
Gonna put you to my own son? Take your whooping like a man. <laughs> Got you now, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Downtown. Need some help securing it. Of course, brother. They'll be there soon. That wall was supposed to start 14 inches back. My brother's daughter, Celine, she just up and left. Ran away, maybe. Don't even... No. You the reporter? Harold Cawley. That's Hatler. I'm covering DeRazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. Working for Bernard is just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. So you were the one... Causing all the ruckus at the construction yard. I got a lot of ink out of that. Point. 
man. You want to remember Don't that take shot to the body. Oh. Shit. Huh? He dead. Tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. Mr. Bernard has some bagman making drops. All I know is the kind of car they're driving. You run with me now. Send some boys. All scene officers engaging with suspect. Respond with caution. All units, negative visual on suspect. Begin search in immediate vicinity. Tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bath Health Spa. He's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he's got stashed there. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Nighty Repeat, night, pursuit bitch. Is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Now wait till the police get here.
Out of the way. Watch it. Excuse you. This might be the end for Nelly. Off me. Oh, miss, listen. Show. Liked what he had to say. Oh. Sorry. Everyone is so scared these days. Yeah! Hurry! Right. Is that... Uh, I don't know what that is. Hey, what's going on over there? How could this happen? Huh? Oh, oh, son of a bitch ain't real! Now 
Now, why do you want to go and rip off Mr. Durazzi? Oh, boy, I hate some. Tell Mr. Durazzi I'll do anything to make it right. Anything! Oh, anything? Try flying, you sticky-fingered piece of shit! The fuck? Huh? Got lots of places to look. Gun?
Alpha. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Car back there. How long has that car been behind? That John's fucking with my mind. That car looks familiar.
You've, uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. Gotta unload some bread in downtown. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. Going at ya. Hang tight. All Better right. not lose this. What do we have? See what you need? Show me what you got. as they've been themselves that being wealthy means that they have that. What the fuck was that? Trespassing, bro. Do that. Fuck him up. Draw, motherfucker. Never would have believed it if I hadn't tried to help. 
but as God is my witness, I've been doing nothing. Ribeyes and drinking martinis. 63 pounds so far. That son of a bitch has a gun! Who's minded assholes? Wait a second. Get out of here, someone to Why'd that man got a gun? him out. Guess that's that, then. Just came from that away. But why do I gotta go? Who that asshole? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Shouldn't have come huh? here. Give me a voice. We got another man. Goddamn shooting gown. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure it while we can. Put nothing there that gives us a foothold on the district. All you gotta do is make it official at the next sit down. It took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. angry militant rap, but for me, it's simply a dead end, figuratively and literally. You try to take anything by force, even equality, and you run the 
risk of being perceived as a thief. Right or wrong's got nothing to do with it. I think he just likes the father-daughter time. How are you, sir? <laughs> just wanted to say my mother would be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I... Get in. How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Oh, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. 